Hey everybody, we're back with another point-and-click adventure game. This one is kind of interesting to me. This is Grey Matter. Uh, this game was released back in 2011, uh, and I tried to play it back then, but it was kind of hard to get a hold of it. Uh, and what's so funny is I was just thinking about it earlier this week, wondering, man, if I could find that game somewhere because their website was down, and I thought maybe it was lost to the ages, but then, out of nowhere, it appears on Steam. So, I don't know if you call that, like, some kind of weird fate or something, but uh, I was thinking about it, it was in my mind, because, uh, man, I don't know, but here it is. Uh, so, we're going to get started, uh, and that's it. So, I hope you enjoy. Kind of like the graphic novel style that they got going on here. It's kind of cool. Paper map in the rain. Yeah, that's going to go well. And then she throws it on the ground. What is this, huh? Come on. Don't litter. So just a quick bit of backstory from just the information on the game. Uh, she is a street magician. And she's on her way to somewhere. And as Damn you can it. see... It's completely dead. She went the wrong way. So she's thinking she's on her way to London, but she just went somewhere else. I'm the assistant for Dr. Styles. I'm the new assistant. Yes. I'm the new assistant for Dr. Styles. Oh, God. <laughs> I guess she's nervous. Uh, what the? Did she get, like, picked up and poofed by a ghost, or did she run all the way back to the car that fast? Hi, I'm the new assistant for Dr. Styles. <laughs> Crafty. Senate Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research. Hmm. So what happened to the blonde girl? I can't believe what I did last night. I need to get out of here before they figure out who I really am. All right. Now, uh, this is just tutorial stuff. I pretty much know what's going on. Uh, the short version of the story, you, you've somehow had a pet rabbit. I guess if you're a magician, you have one of those. And uh, it's loose in the room. You put it in the cage. You give it some food and water. Done. We're going to skip that and get right to the story stuff. So, screw the rabbit. I need to find Houdini first. Really? You're still going to make me do this? I kind of remember this from a couple years ago. All right, fine. Houdini! Houdini! There you are! Are you scared? Or just up to your usual tricks, you furball you? I was worried. That's a big rabbit, too. Holy crap, animal cruelty. Thing doesn't want to be picked Stay up like that. Stay for at least ten minutes, will you, Who? Let's go ahead and grab the pack here and see what's inside. Cool. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. I'm almost done reading it. Trey Gothic. I don't need to carry it around, though. Maybe a water bottle. That's Houdini's for the rabbit. water bottle. Unfortunately, it's empty. Amazing considering how soaked I got last night. My first magic book. The tricks are kind of juvenile, but the basic techniques are timeless. I never go anywhere without it. Cool. I'm almost done reading. Okay, well, we heard that. A letter one. from the foster care department back in DC. I don't need to take it. Foster care, huh? A clean, crisp deck of cards is one of the necessities of life. 
If you say so. Hey, Mom and Dad. Looks like the rain didn't hurt you. That's cool. Okay. I still have some Houdini goodies left. That rabbit eats better than I do. The Daedalus Club London. I will get there, one way or another. Okay, that's where she was heading originally. All I have is five pounds. I should never have bought that piece of crap bike in Liverpool. It wiped me out. Okay. A girl traveling alone has to have more than a few tricks up her sleeve. Wouldn't know. A towel is the most massively useful thing a hitchhiker can have. Okay, I think that's everything from the bag. So... I want to get Houdini some food and water. Ah, okay, fine. So for starters, uh, here's a water bottle. This fits Houdini's cage. <laughs> really? Okay, we're, we're going to go over here to the water pitcher, see? Do, do, do. Right. Stupid rabbit. Where did she have that rabbit on that motorcycle? Like, seriously, that is a huge looking rabbit. Actually, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Houdini must be thirsty. Okay, yeah, I keep left clicking instead of right clicking to uh, actually assign it to inventory. You'll see, like, in the right upper corner there, inventory does not appear yeah. on the cursor, but nice, in your hand. Nice, cool water. Which is kind of cool. It's a little different. And let's give him the cake. There you go. The hard stuff. Don't overdo it now. Oh, yeah. You never could hold your carrots. Okay, so he should be pretty happy now. And I have everything that I can do in here, so... Let's head out and go exploring. It's like, what kind of hell can we cause in this to house that we don't belong in? I figure out I'm an imposter. But first, I need to find a map, or bus schedule, or something so I can figure out where I'm going. Gargoyles. Those gargoyles look like they were taken from an old building or something. It's in the cabinet. I like the music. Some dusty old armor in there. Music is fantastic. Looks like a monk. Or Quasimodo post-surgery. Hmm. What's the painting all about? Weird painting. A woman and an owl. I like it. Pretty surreal. Hmm. All right. David's hmm. bedroom. Looks like it might be another bedroom. Don't think I'll go there. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea. Considering you're trying to get out of here and not get busted. Uh, let's go ahead and head out the only door we can go out then, which is to the foyer. <laughs> Oh, this is cool. I like how she's looking around. Not a soul. Pretty quiet, too. Excellent. Does this mean we can steal stuff? Press spacebar to turn on hotspot labels on and off. This function displays all interactive zones on the screen. Oh, so if you get stuck on something, you can use that? I know other games that I've played have features like that, but I tend to not use them. I tend to just frustrate myself to try and figure it out. Look at that statue of a veiled woman. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean, but it's sinister as hell. I love it. Hey, she's a little on the dark side. She's beautiful. Kind of a Grace Kelly type. Wonder who she is. Oh. She's be Okay, well, I guess nothing there. Okay, we got a phone, a door. I already looked at that guy. Any idea what. Well, let's look at what's left in this room first. New assistant envelope. That sounds like it might be for <clears throat> me. For the new assistant. Yes, it please. says. For the new assistant. Hopefully by the time they figure out I'm not that person, I'll be long gone. Can I have it? Can I can I take it? It said. It said.
Um, okay, well, I don't think I can actually take it. So, I guess... Okay, well, let's just see what else we got then. Let's take a look at the phone. So I guess we won't take it since I'm not actually There's the no one I can call. new assistant. I don't know a soul here. And I can't call a repair shop because I don't have any money. All right, well, we have two doors. We have the parlor door and the dining room. Up oh, three doors and the kitchen. Hmm. So where should I head to? Let's go in here first. Ooh, lots of stuff to mess with here. All right, we got a skeleton. Hey, buddy, how you doing? I take it the patients have to wait a long time around here. <laughs> oh, she's funny. Okay, we got some books. And a naked dude standing on a pedestal. Someone must read a lot. Someday, I'll have a library. It'd be kind of cool to have a library. Hmm. Now we got a desk. Let's make sure that we've kind of got everything over here. More books. Ooh, what's up there? Demon statue. You know, this house is downright creepy. And I'm an ex-goth. I know creepy. An ex-goth? I don't know. I guess she is a little bit cleaned up. It doesn't look like anyone's used that fireplace in ages. Okay, more books. Someone must read a lot. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've been over that. Uh, ooh, stuff on the ashtray. I don't smoke. Well, that's good for you. You shouldn't. Smoking is bad. Um, kind of curious. I thought this game kept score, but I may be wrong. It's in this picture. Nice couple. They look happy. Annoyingly perfect, maybe, but happy. <laughs> uh, we got some diplomas. Wow, that's a long name. David Layton Brandish Styles. Doctorate in Neuroscience. Dr. David Stiles. Neurobiology. Hope he finds the assistant he's looking for. It's gonna be you. Dr. David... I was gonna say, spoiler, it's gonna be you. Nice couple. Okay, yeah, and that must be him and the girl who was also the one on the wall coming down the stairs. So I'm sure that's relevant to something. Let's see what's up with this dude. An anatomical statue. Lovely. Just what I want to see when I'm waiting in a doctor's office. <laughs> of course, her face is right where, uh, yeah. Hmm. That's kind of creepy, too. Like, WTF. Are these some of the doctor's patients? Um, interesting. Yeah, it's a little creepy. What the globe? There's no you are here on the globe, unfortunately. Hmm. Looks like family photos. Nothing of use to me in there. Ooh, Money. I could really use a bit of that. Even 20 pounds. I'm stone broke. But it's the magician's creed. Never take cash or other valuables. I just can't. <sighs> That would solve some problems. There are no maps or bus schedules lying around. Not even an address. That computer is ancient. It might as well be an abacus. Okay. There are no maps. I think we've accomplished all we can accomplish in here. Let's go to the office. Locked. It's locked. Alright, 
Well, I guess we head back outside. Well, now let's check up on the dining room. Neato. Watercolors. A couple in a boat. Kind of symbolic of a relationship. Except if it were one of my relationships, we'd be adrift in a storm in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> These watercolors are good. But I'd say homegrown. Someone in the family must be an artist. Hmm. It's kind of cool to get a little bit of backstory on all of this. China and silver. Fancy. Not a whole lot else going on in here. Cool candelabra. All I need is a nightgown and a stormy night, and I could play Jane Eyre. Heh, <laughs> cool. Uh, chairs. That velvet's a bit worn. Bet those chairs have been in this house a long time. There does not seem to be much else to do in here. Maybe the owl? Stuffed owls. Adds a nice fresh-from-the-field vibe to dinner. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have Odd stereo. place for a stereo. Maybe it calms down the patients at mealtime. Or there, there are a lot of CDs no in here, here, but no maps or addresses. Okay. Well, I don't think there's anything else of value here. Someone seems to be taking good care of the plants. Excellent. All right, let's, um, what do we have left? The kitchen? And then I think we can, what, go back outside. But we probably don't want to leave our rabbit. Hear someone in there. I better not. Mm. Okay. So yeah, front entry. Maybe there's some details about where the hell we're at. At least maybe a number on the I house. I think or I something. noticed a plaque yesterday. I should have a look. Okay. That's a cool looking cool house. house. A bit creepy, but I kind of like that. That is a pretty wicked looking house. Okay, it's back exterior. Where was I supposed to go? I was supposed to look... Oh, right here. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research? And this seemed like such a good idea last night. Hmm. Born under. Alright. Music's kind of changed, too. It's a little more creepy now. What is that? Looks like some kind of an orc or ogre type statue thing. It's kind of weird. And she waddles on over there. I love all this old gothic stuff around here. Neat house. Did you really need to walk all the way over there for that? That tower looks strange standing by itself like that. It's almost like a miniature or replica. Could be. It's in the garage. I stuck my bike in there last night. I'll probably ditch it. It'll cost too much to fix it, and it's a piece of junk anyway. Oh, I didn't realize that she managed to sneak her bike in. That's impressive. Alright. I guess that's it. I guess that's all we got. Wait. Hold on. Is this something interactive over here? I do like how I can make her run, though. That's kind of cool. Like, yeah, if I keep clicking, she runs. Oh, that's nice. I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go. Let's go back in there, because I could have sworn I that there was, like, a something to interact with on the wall. Oh. I could just straight up go into the garage. I could make a run for it in the car, but I'd probably be busted before I'd gone 20 miles. Yeah, probably. Would be funny, though. Seems to be... Oh, more paintings. 
Run, girly! Okay, never mind. Oh, never mind. There she goes. She had to think about it for a second. These look old and a bit moldy. That's not good. We're back to the cool music, at least. I am digging that music. Damn it. I'll have to leave it and find a bus or train to London. I spent the last of cash on that piece of crap. Hmm. Okie dokie then. Well, I suppose we have to go back into the house. I, I don't know what else to do. Games like these typically start off a little bit slow while they develop into the story. So, most of all, like right now, all we're doing is kind of learning about the setting, learning about her a little bit, and then things will kind of pick up. So if you're wondering, like, man, this is slow. Yeah, they usually start out this way. Oh. oh. Uh-oh. Hey, lady. There you are. I was just going to see if you was awake. Oh, hi. You aren't sneaking out on us, are you? Me? Nah. -uh. <laughs> oh. Come and get your breakfast. I've got eggs, porridge, toast, and ham. Be ashamed to let it go cold. No shit? I mean, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> oh, that's great. To the kitchen. Feed me. God, I'm starving. I guess if they aren't onto me by now, another half an hour won't hurt. Hmm. I wonder if I could take the new assistant thing yet. And like actually just pretend to be the new assistant. It says Nope, not yet. I kinda wanna do that. I wanna see what happens. Go ahead, dear. Don't be shy about it. Mm, it smells amazing. I didn't know how you took your eggs, so I made them the way I like them. But I can do them however you like starting tomorrow. I'm not picky. One way's easy as another. People need a good breakfast, I always say. Oh my god, these are the best eggs I've ever tasted. <laughs> well now, himself does like them fresh. We've got a farmer drops them off every few days. Bit peckish, are you? <laughs> what do they feed you over there at Oxford? Oxford? Um, the usual. And I never saw anyone in my life as cold, wet and tired as you last night. Oh, we didn't walk all that way. There's a bus stop just down the road, no more than 20 yards. Takes you right to Oxford Centre. Wow. <laughs> like, don't... Still going on about them eggs, are you? <laughs> no, I just can't believe my luck lately. Well, before you go off, himself left instructions for you on the door to the basement. Himself? Oh, <laughs> I mean Dr. Styles, of course. He's working down in the lab this morning. Doesn't want to be disturbed. Now, I know you must have a question or two. Don't be shy about asking, Samantha. It's Sam, but funny. I don't remember telling you my name last night. There was a tag on your backpack when I washed your clothes. You really should update it to your Oxford address, dear. Wouldn't do having someone ship it back to the States if she lost it, now would it? <laughs> oh, and I'm Mrs. Dalton. I did tell you, but I suspect you were half asleep at the time. Oh, okay, cool. We've actually got, like, dialogue options. Who all lives here? Lord, it must seem a big old empty place to you. Sometimes I forget. It's only himself and me. The whole Just himself thing is weird. In this huge old house? He can't abide company. Look, he can be difficult. I'll never say otherwise, but no matter what you've heard over there at that university, don't believe it. All I ask is that you make up your own mind. If you can do that and not be faint of heart, you'll be all right. Now okay. I'm curious. But whatever you do, don't mention the accident. The accident? I saw a plaque by the door. Center for Cognitive Abnormality Research? What does that mean, exactly? The center was Dr. Stiles' idea. He started it with his friend, Dr. Hellborn. 
how excited they were. It was busy too, or starting to be. Then something happened and... Well, he closed it. Stop eating, What Jesus. does that mean? It's kind Cognitive of abnormality. Didn't that school tell you anything? Dr. Stiles worked with patients who had strokes or brain injuries and the like. Always said those kinds of cases helped him understand the workings of the brain better than looking at a healthy one. He's retired now? Well, you could say that. Hasn't seen patients in years. Huh. How far are we from London? London? Oof, hour and a half, I'd say. Car or train would run you about the same. Of course, you'd never catch me driving in London. Oh, not for a million pounds. That's not bad. Far enough away to be grateful, not so far as to be sorry. <laughs> or so the locals say. Hmm. Okay. You know, before I came to Oxford, I would have never imagined there was so much uninhabited countryside so nearby. Oh, there's plenty of country around here. And thank heavens for it. <laughs> How long does the bus take to get into Oxford Centre? 30 minutes, like. Makes a lot of stops on the way. By the by, what college are you in? Did the student employment office say it was St. Edmund Hall? Or am I thinking of something else? Mm, it is St. Edmund Hall. Nice college from what I've heard. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's find out about the portrait in the hall, because I'm kind of I noticed the painting that. on the stairway. Beautiful girl. Is that Dr. Stiles' daughter? If you want to get along in this house, that's the sort of thing you don't ask. Ever. All right, All right. sorry. That hit a nerve. So, what exactly does Dr. Stiles' assistant do around here? I mean, as you see it. Never had one before. I'm sure they told you at the student employment office. It's mainly paperwork he wants done. Files sorted, computer work, things of that sort. You should have plenty of time to keep up with your studies. I told him there's no use sending over a medical student. He'd never let you touch his actual work. I take it you're not in the sciences. Was it the tattoos that gave me away? No <laughs> offence, dear. What is it that you study? Um, English Lit. Well, that's all right then, isn't it? Now, I wanted to ask, will you be wanting the room or will you be staying at the university? The room? The room you were in last night. It's yours whenever you want it. It's empty otherwise, isn't it? Tempting. Hmm. Meals too. If you're late, I'll leave your dinner in the fridge. I'm sure a girl like you knows how to use a microwave. <laughs> sure. Don't sound so enthused. Alright. I know they told me this at university, but I'm not sure I remember it correctly. Besides the room and board, the position pays. Well, I never. <laughs> Catch a fever last night, did you? <laughs> I'd have thought that would be the first thing on a student's mind. Sure, but I was looking at a whole list of available jobs, and I'm afraid I might be confusing them. Fifty pounds. Right, that's what I thought. Thanks. Not a bad gig. Okay, so we can look at the woman. She seems nice enough, but you never can tell. This is true. Tell me about the notice board. We got to-do lists and... That calendar is out of date. By a fair chunk, too. Something about this is awkward, like locked in time. So, like, for instance, whatever happened probably happened back then. And, yeah. They're well stocked for just two people. I suppose there must have been a lot more living here once upon a time. Okay, I don't think there's... Oh, out the window. It looks a bit gloomy out there. Okay. Well, I think at this point... Can we take this yet? Yep. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. We are now the new assistant. A closer look at an item. Zoom in using the mouse wheel. And morale by holding down the right mouse button. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, he's a charmer. And don't get too comfortable, Houdini. To the new person. There's one thing for you to do today. Call it a test, if you will. If you cannot accomplish it, pack your things and return to the campus by evening. 
plan to start an experiment. Despite putting out a few of these notices in town, the last lambs have been telephoned. Okay. Find me six student volunteers for tonight. Leave your cell phone number with Miss Dalton. Well, he's a... Don't get too hmm. comfortable, Houdini. Student volunteers, eh? So human sacrifices. I like it. I like it. Alright, guys. We'll continue on uh, on the next video. I know it's off to a little bit of a slow start, but I'm sure it'll pick up. I mean, it's starting to get a little bit more interesting with who's doing what's it to the who's now and six human sacrifices. This could be kind of cool. Uh, so, I thank you for watching, and we'll hopefully see you next time.